What's going on guys, Balkan Artlet here and in today's tutorial we're going to be modeling this donut looking tower in Dubai. Now as far as I know this was, wasn't built or maybe it was, I don't know, it looks like a rendering on all of the images I've seen. But never mind that, we're not only going to be showing you how to create this cool looking form, uh, but also we're going to be covering the topic of, as you can see over here, it looks like the the floors are kind of exiting uh, the shell of the building or the curtain wall or whatever the the wall is and that's kind of difficult to do uh, with in place masses and mass floors so I'm going to be showing you a, a little trick how to get around that and how to solve that problem but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, let's go into Revit immediately. So I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. And let's just set the units first to something like meters for this project. Now, uh, for this, uh, let's just go immediately into in place mass, I guess that's the that's the way to go. So in place mass, uh, first turn on show mass so you can actually see what you're doing and then go in place mass. I'm going to leave it at mass one, but you, of course you can change the name if you so desire. So just hit okay and here we are in the uh, mass environment. So let's just create a reference plane so you can either click here or use the shortcut RP for this. And uh, let's just set it like this in the center and the uh, very important part is to name your reference plane. So I'm just going to name it, uh, I don't know, one, reference plane one. It doesn't really matter what's the name, it just has to have some name. So once we have that, uh, let's go to south elevation. So just go here to south. And here you've got your first uh, two levels and now we can start building our building. Now if you remember from the image, uh, it's not really a circle, it's more of a ellipse uh, donut, so uh, we need to use the ellipse tool for that. So let's go back into Revit, uh, go to the ellipse tool, and uh, now we need to pick a work plane, and this is why we named it. So just go to name, and then choose reference plane one. Hit OK, and now we can start. Now I'm not going to uh, worry about the dimensions uh, too much, because it's not, I am not going to take this project much further than the, the mass, but uh, just to get to the point. So uh, kind of just do something like this for the ellipse, then extend it a bit to get that uh, that shape. So let's say this is the, the shape we're looking for. So that's what we need. Now go into 3D. So here's our ellipse. Now we need a, a reference point and we're just going to be placing it here on top of this, uh, on top of this ellipse. So just place one reference point and now go to uh, set and we're going to set the work plane to this reference point. So make sure to set to, to have it like parallel to the, uh, to the whole ellipse. And now here we need to create a circle for our donut. So for the circle, uh, I guess you can use the any size you want. You can just try to make it look proportional. So let's go with maybe 18. Is that too small? Yeah, maybe 20 is okay. Okay, and uh, let's just now select the circle, select the ellipse, and go create form, and let's see what we get. Okay, yeah, I, I like the look of this. And uh, now to get that uh, that characteristic shape where the floors are kind of poking out of the skin, uh, how do you do that? Well, we need to create another shape, another ellipse, exactly like this, but inside of this one. So how do you do that? Well, you need to go to south elevation, and uh, let's just place one uh, one line like this in the middle. So if you go into 3D, that's that's the line we want to have. And now I'm just going to select this whole shape and go to X-ray just so I can see the elements from which this was created. So now I need to create another ellipse. So just go to ellipse and uh, let's set the work plane to reference plane one. Okay, reference plane one. Go from the middle and go to the top and extend it like that. So you've got a new ellipse. Now you can go back to create, select the, the whole shape and uncheck this uh, x-ray. So now you only see this thing in the middle. So now again, we need to create a reference point on that. So just make sure to orbit around and make sure that uh, the reference point is inside of this and not on the shell. And once we have that, let's go with a circle, a set work plane, set it to the same reference point. So we're basically repeating the same process, but it just needs to be done. And then make it 
almost the same size but a bit uh, smaller so I'm just going to go maybe with uh, 19. Okay so once we have that select that circle select the ellipse go create form. Okay so we've got two forms uh, one in each other and let's just cut this uh, at level 0 to uh, finalize the thing so go to south elevation and go to rectangle perhaps and just create a large rectangle like this select it uh, open up the create form dialog go void form yeah that's what you want you select this side you just uh, grab the uh, the green arrow and extend it just a little bit cut it like that so this is what we get this is the form that we're looking for so once we have our ellipse donut double form we can hit finish mass and let's wait for a second for uh, Revit to calculate everything. Come on, Revit, make it happen. Okay, here we are. We're back in the architecture uh, environment. So now we need to add our uh, floors and the the actual uh, like curtain system. So for the curtain system, uh, you need to go here to curtain system, uh, go select multiple, and then make sure to select the inner uh, the inner donut, I guess you would call it. So just go like that, select the uh, the inner surfaces, make sure that the, the bottom ones are not selected, and then go create system. Wait for a second, it's going to take a while because it's a complex shape, I guess, so it takes Revit a bit of uh, calculating. Okay, and now let's just add the floors. So for that, uh, you just need to go here to south elevation and we need to add some levels so just go maybe with cs for create similar go with pick lines give it an offset of like four meters and then just start clicking so we need to create as many as possible or not as many as possible but we need to cover the whole uh, height of this building oops did not want that pick lines offset four okay continue doing that all the way to the top yeah, just like that. One more, okay, we can stop there. Okay, so once we have that, uh, let's just go into the 3D and uh, let's go to floor. And now we go uh, select multiple and uh, just go create floor and maybe select this mass, okay. Oh no, of course, yeah, I almost forgot. We need to select the whole mass, then go mass floors. Now go from the first to the last, hold the shift key and then uh, check all of these, hit OK. Now wait for a second till it generates all of the floors. Come on Revit, you can do it. And once all of the floors have been generated, as you can see now they're going outside of the shell because they're going to the uh, outside uh, ellipse. And now you can go with floors, select all of them, go create floor and it actually turns it into surfaces and now we can just go to masking site and uncheck show mass uh, for some reason it's still showing let's maybe go into VG and yeah turn mass off here let's see mass off apply okay there we go so this is what we get maybe if we turn on shadows it will look even cooler yeah it will so there you go, that's how you create this uh, shape that's a curtain wall with some floors poking out and it, it actually looks really, really cool. But anyway, that's how you do that in Revit. That's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial on how to create this building. If you want to download this uh, building, check out uh, my Patreon, first link in the description. You can get access to all of my Revit files, over 160 files so far, for only $5 a month. And sometimes I upload some uh, bonus tutorials as well. And of course, you can ask me questions and chat or whatever you want. And for $30 a month, you can get one hour or of one-to-one -one training where I can help you maybe solve some problem that you're having trouble with. Okay, so that's it. That's it for my little commercial on the end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.